All right, welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we're gonna see if we're gonna resolve some issues some of you have been having. So we're gonna very quickly go through some installs for Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm gonna quickly install the basics and then a reshade. And then I'll be going over some steps you can take to mitigate the FFFFF Rockstar error some people have been having. All right, so first off, I wanna start with script hook. So on my how-to guys, I have the link for the script hook. People have been saying they can't download it for some reason from the link I provided in the description. You can though, you just have to look. So if I click on the link, for some people, it should look like this. And all you have to do is press the download button right here but for other people it will bring you to this page the blog page if you look right here it says script hook rdr2 you just have to press that and then you get to the script hook rdr2 download page that's all you have to do i also want to make sure you're downloading the correct lenny's mod loader so using the link in the description for the youtube video once you hit download this file you always want to get the latest version so in this case it's lml rdr beta 11. all you have to do is look at the update date this is march 30th 2023 and all the rest are 2022 and below so always get the latest version of the mod. All right, so I'm gonna go into my RDR2 game directory, and this is a clean install, meaning the game is downloaded from scratch. This is a legitimate copy of the game. If you have a cracked version, mods are not gonna work. So just buy the game. I'm gonna start off with script hook. So I'm gonna double click on the mod. I'm gonna go inside of the bin folder. Then I'm gonna only take these two files. So I'm gonna take the dinput 8 and the script hook rdr2.dll. We're not using the native trainer because we're using Rampage Trainer. If you wanna use native trainer, you can, but I do not suggest it. Now, if your downloader mods do not look like this, this little icon, the WinRAR icon. WinRAR is a free program you can download for your PC. All you have to do is download it. It is free, you don't have to buy it. And once you have it downloaded, your mods may still not look like this. All you have to do is right click it and then go to open with. Once you do that, you just pick WinRAR Archiver and now all your mods should look like this zip file. Now, when you do click inside of the mod, you'll get an add to by the program. It's still free, just exit out and you're good to go. Now we're gonna install LML. So we're gonna go inside of the mod loader folder and we're taking all of these files and placing it into the root of our game directory. We are going to go back and then we're gonna take this mod manager folder and drag that whole folder inside of the root of our game directory. Now inside of that mod manager folder in your RDR2, we do click inside of it and we're gonna open up the mod manager.ui. We need to find our Red Dead Redemption 2 game folder. So you're gonna click on these three little dots and then navigate to where you have your Red Dead Redemption 2 installed. You're going to highlight the folder and then press select folder. Once you do that, press the save icon and then you should get this nice welcome screen. So we're done with the mod manager. We can exit out of this. We're gonna open up online content unlocker, exit out of the WinRAR ad. And you notice inside we have an LML folder right here, but in our game directory, we have a LML folder as well. We can simply just drag this whole folder inside. And then if we click inside of the LML folder in our game directory, we'll see online content unlocker. Now, since this archive is LML and our game directory has an LML file, you could click inside of this, see the online content unlocker folder and then click inside of your RDR2 game directory and you could have just simply dragged this folder inside. Whatever is easiest for you, just do that. Now we're gonna do Rampage Trainer, exit out of the ad. We're gonna click inside of this Rampage folder and then we're gonna take both the Rampage file folder and the Rampage.asi file and place it directly into the root of our game directory. Now people have been having some issues downloading mods for RDR2 as well. All the mods are free, you do not need to pay and as long as you get it from safe websites, they're virus free, so stop asking. The safe sites are nexusmods.com and rdr2mods.com. I would only trust mods from these websites. Now on Nexus Mods, in order to download a mod, all you need to do is go into the Files tab and then press Manual Download. Once you do that, you just press the Download button. That's it. I have Nexus Premium, so I have a faster download speed, but you do not need to pay to download mods. You just get a slower download rate. So Rampage is installed now. Next, we're gonna install the graphics mod I use. So we're gonna do Visual Redemption. You get Visual Redemption from the Raised Mods website, which is another free site. And then you just press Red Dead Redemption 2 down below. You go down to the View button and then just click the Download key. So I'm gonna open up the zip file. I'm gonna go inside of this Visual Redemption folder, go into the main files, and then I need to place this inside of the LML folder. So I'm gonna click inside the LML folder and then drag this entire folder inside of it. I also like No Vignette as well. So I'm gonna go back and go into the optional add-ons. I'm gonna go into the No Vignette. And then of course you can read the how to install, but since you already know how to, I'm gonna click on the Visual Redemption folder and I'm going to drag this file inside of it. I'm gonna replace and now it's installed. Now we have one more thing to do. We're gonna install the reshade 
And right here, I have the visual redemption reshade found on Nexus mods. So I'm going to drag the visual redemption any file inside of our root of our game directory. And what I mean by root of the game directory is that it's the space with the RDR2 executable file. So we have the reshade any installed. Now we're going to boot up the reshade setup. Then we're going to select RDR2, press next. Then we have a whole bunch of options here. If you want to mod RDR2, you need to be in Vulkan mode. 99% of the mods are made for Vulkan. So if you use DirectX 12, you're going to run into a lot of issues, whether it's crashing or even not being able to start up the game. So you need to change your graphic settings to Vulkan. It'll only work for that. Now on the next page, all you need to do is press uncheck all and then check all. So all these effects will be checked and then we'll press next. You'll see reshade files being installed inside of your game directory and then you'll get a nice little finish sign. So now we'll boot up Red Dead Redemption. Now, if you have truly followed all the steps and you have a legitimate copy of the game, you'll boot up ready to have the time of your life. We got one more thing to do though. So since we installed the reshade, we have to press the home button. And once you do that, you'll see this reshade menu pop up. You just press continue, press continue again, and then you'll see a drop down menu right here. We need to find that any file that we installed. So that's going to be the visual redemption. Press select. And now it's going to load up all of the colors and stuff. I like to add a hotkey as well. So in the settings, I'm going to go over to effect toggle. And I'm going to make this like F10. So then we can turn on and off the reshade at will. We're going to go back to home and then press continue and then finish. We'll press the home key again. And sometimes the rockstar stuff will pop up. Just exit out of that. And then now if we press F10, it'll toggle the reshade effect on and off, which is really cool because you get to see the difference that the uh, reshade makes. Now we have a beautiful game that's modded, but I know some of you have been having some issues when it comes to the dreaded FFFFF error. Now I don't know if this is foolproof, but the things I'm about to talk about have stopped me from getting that error altogether. First and foremost, a legitimate copy of the game. If you're trying to mod on a cracked version, it's just not gonna work. You're gonna run into all sorts of issues, errors, and I just can't help you. Next, we're gonna go into our settings. So we'll go into settings, and then we'll go into graphics. Like I said before, we need to be on a specific graphics mode. So if we go down, you'll see the advanced graphics. You need to make sure you're on the Vulkan setting. Mods are made for Vulkan, not DX12. If you're not using Vulkan, I can't help you. Also, your graphics, you may need to bump down a few settings. And this is something you're just going to have to test. So if you keep running into the error, just bump down your quality settings until you have a fix or smooth running game. Another issue could just be the mods that you have installed. If you have too many mods, your game may not start up or you'll be crashing every five minutes. It's kind of like a trial and error type of thing. I can't give you all the mods you can add because there's just too many combinations to go through. My recommendation would be to add one mod at a time, test it thoroughly, and then add more mods on top of that. One thing I like to do is open up Rampage Trainer, go into the teleport setting, go down to shops and services, down to Trapper, and then I like to fast travel over to Saint Denis. If I can fast travel from any location over to Saint Denis without getting any crashing errors or the FFF error, then I know I am good to go for the most part. So if you can safely transport to Saint Denis, you should be good to go with the, whatever mods you, you've installed. Another issue could be the specific mods that you have installed with each other. One common example I've seen a lot of people make the mistake of is if you install the YMs plus Eastern Epics Extras Merge. A lot of people did not follow the instructions because people have added the audio offline mod as well. It's not compatible with that. So make sure you actually read the mod pages to see if there's any incompatibilities, which I guess for the most part, it's not really going to tell you. It's more trial and error. So like I said before, test one mod at a time. That's the only way you're going to know. That should be it for the in-game settings, but there's a few other PC settings that can help you out. And it all depends on the PC you have. Me, for example, I have a Lenovo laptop, so I have an app called the Lenovo Vantage app. One thing that really helps me out is enabling a few settings such as overdrive and GPU overclock. But I think the biggest difference was enabling the full power of my laptop. And I know most laptops have some of these similar options. So you want to make sure you're on the mode that has the most power. In this instance, it's performance mode. So this makes sure I'm utilizing the full potential of my GPU, CPU, all that. If you have an NVIDIA card, there's an app called the NVIDIA Control Panel, which looks something similar like this. But under your Manage 3D settings, there are a lot of settings that could make or break your PC. I've tweaked a few of these values just from a standard YouTube video. So I'd recommend finding a trustworthy video and then tweaking the recommended settings to get more FPS and performance. These are pretty much all the tips and tricks you can do for RDR2 to make it work and stop getting any errors you may be encountering and to troubleshoot it for yourself. Hopefully this helped you out and we'll see you next time.